Hey guys, what's up? Wise24 here. And today I want to show you guys how to use your new PlayStation 5 controller on Steam. Now, if you guys are lucky enough to get one of these and I know the update for PlayStation 5 came out, so it's 60 FPS 4K on there too, but you still want to play on PC because you have friends on PC, but you want to use this brand new controller that you got somehow. I'm here to show you guys. So we're going to get into that. But first, if you enjoy the, this content, guys, like tech content, anything Destiny related, please subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out and I appreciate all of you. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So first off, the PlayStation should have came with a type C charging cable which just like the Xbox, if you use the controller on PC at all, you're just going to want to plug that in to the controller and then plug the USB into uh, a port on your PC. But that's not going to be good enough for the PlayStation. It's not going to be like the Xbox, guys. You're going to have to click Steam up at the top, go into settings, go down to controller, hit general controller settings, go to uh, PlayStation configuration support and click that and notice how it says detected controllers PlayStation 5 back and you should be good to go it's that easy but just to be sure we're going to go ahead and load up Destiny all right and as you guys can see um, it let me press X and we went into it now your, your PC might auto do this, but this helps to remap the buttons because it's going to want to put, uh, you know, A, B, Y, and uh, I almost said square, X. There's still going to be um, the Xbox buttons for some reason on Destiny, but if you guys are using a PlayStation controller, it's not that big of a deal. You, you'll figure it out. If you're using a controller in general or you're used to playing on PlayStation, it's the same buttons just on the overlay or on the game's heads up, as you can see, you can see A and X, which is gonna be X and square on the PlayStation controller. But yeah, guys, it's that easy. You plug it in, hit the configuration, and you're good to go. You might even be able to just plug it in, but make sure the, the game is not running before you plug it in, because there's some wonky stuff with uh, just PlayStation controllers on PC in general. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be about it for me, guys. If you found this video informative, make sure you drop a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.